What's up, YouTube? What's up, Raider Nation? This your boy, LB. Bam! Once again, with another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to talk about our coach, John Gruden. Raider Nation, we're going to talk about our coach, John Gruden. The man is making moves. He making unexpected moves, shocking moves, unbelievable moves. He making moves. He really making moves. He been making moves ever since he became head coach. He making moves. We we gonna see, we gonna see are these the right moves? You get what I'm saying? We gonna see are these the right moves? Cause that man making moves, man. John Gruden is really making moves, but he cut. He just cut Marquette King, our punter, the, the best punter in the league. Because he didn't like his personality, his style of personality. Let me put it that way. He cut, also cut Michael Crabtree, one of our best receivers, our number one receiver. And I understand why he cut him. I just don't understand why he cut Marquette. John Condo, our lost snapper, I believe he got cut as well. Bruce Irvin has been moved to defensive end. Uh, we have signed a lot of free agents. Tyreer Whitehead, linebacker. We signed uh, Jordan Nelson, Leon Hall, and some more people. Uh, names I cannot remember at the moment. John Cruz making moves. He making big moves on defense and offense, special teams. He making moves in the coaching style, the facility. <laughs> he really making moves, man. But this season is really going to be interesting. This season right here is really going to be interesting because the hype is all around the Oakland Raiders. The hype is all about the Oakland Raiders and John Gruden returning. The hype is just in the Oakland. The move, the moves to Vegas, the signing of the head coach signing of uh, John Gruden, the firing of Jack Del Rio, John Gruden cleaning house, got rid of Rob Wilson, got rid of Jack Del Rio, got rid of Todd Downey. You get John Gruden get rid of everybody, and sign Paul Gunther and Greg Olson. Like he really making moves, and then he got to back it up. You cut players, and then you got to back it up. You cut good players, one of the best players, and then you have to back it up. The moves you make, you gotta back up everything you did. That everything you said, you gotta back up everything you said. Everybody's watching. The eyes is on John Gruden. You've been gone for ten years. The game has changed. You come back, get the biggest, the best contract ever. Then you have to back all that talk up. You have to back everything up. Is you worth that money, John Gruden? Are you worth that money? Is John Gruden worth that money? Now he got to show the people that he worth that money. He been gone ten years. Game changed. People think he can't do it. People say he's old school. He trying to bring that old school football back. I believe it will work out. I truly believe that it's old school workout, old school game call workout. Cause if you used to how the Oakland used to play back in the day. How boys used to hit, trash talk, bully people, clothesline people, slam people on their head, break their neck. Come on, 18 Willis Pole, punk ass motherfucker. Put the jets on their ass. Glory. She I don't prefer somebody. Shit. What the fuck? Yeah, we're about to see uh we wanna see what John Gruder can do. Can he go in the draft and draft the correct players? Can he go in the draft and draft the correct players that the Oakland Rays need? He basically signed free agents in the now, now how you do that? Now how you all turned around? How, oh Lord, look at this crap. Now how you hit that? How in the world did you hit that? 
you definitely don't need to be on the road. But back to what I, what I was saying before I seen a terrible accident. Oh Lord, here go another accident. Lord of Jesus, something told me don't come over here. Something told me stay home. Something told me stay home. And then the accident on the bridge. Lord of Jesus. You know next time, keep my ass home. But now, don't mm, uh, <laughs> Home or something. Mm, but yeah. John Gruden basically built in the position of the Ocarina needs on defense. Accept the uh, interior, interior defense on the uh, defensive line. He just hasn't corrected that spot yet. And the move that he did with Bruce Irvin now put him back at defense end at a position that he used to play. I think that's smart. I think that is smart. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even know Bruce Irvin was big enough or strong enough to be on the defensive line or defensive end. I didn't even think he was big enough or strong enough. I still don't think he's big enough or strong enough. I don't think he's like a clear map. I think Bruce Irvin might get bullied on that defensive line. He might get bullied. He ain't no clear map now. He close to it, but he ain't no clear map. Khalil Mack know how to bull rush these thunders, man. He know how to bull rush and knock down linemen and throw them off him and get off the block. I ain't saying Bruce Irvin don't know how to do it, but he's just in a Khalil Mack. Coming off that line is different from coming out of the uh Coming off from the uh, linebacker position, there's two different things. But we're gonna see what happens. We gonna see what happens. I'm gonna keep my faith in John Gruden, man. Like the Jordan Nelson signing was smart. The Jordan Nelson signing was smart. Cause I understand what the sources said online about how. Jordan Nelson don't give up on plays, and that's how Aaron, Aaron Rodgers were able to find, always find him open when the pocket collapsed. Because let's say Jordan Nelson has been shut down. I ain't gonna say shut down. Let's say Jordan Nelson running route. Jordan Nelson running route. The corner is on him, and the and the pocket collapsed. Jordan Nelson would not give up on that play. Jordan Nelson would find separation and get open. So Aaron Rodgers could see him open. And then how Jordan Nelson always scored them touchdowns. Because he always created separation. Let's say the, the coach told him to run this route. And that route is unavailable. So Jordan Nelson create another route, a route, and get open. And that's what some receivers don't do. They just give up on that route. And they see the quarterback and need help. They never come back to the quarterback or run out and get open. So that's what Michael Crutchie never did. That's something Michael Crutchie never did. Michael Crutchie always gave up on the play. I know some people never seen it on TV because the camera don't show the whole field, but there were times Michael Crutchie did give up on the play, gave up on Derek Carr, and then that Derek Carr always got sat or just couldn't find him at open because most of our receivers just gave up on the play. And that's what John Gruden want. He want people who are serious about their position, serious about football, serious about playing the game, and serious about going to the Super Bowl. You just can't give up. You can't give up on your quarterback, can't give up on your line, can't give up on your teammates. And I feel I feel John Gruden on that one. I feel him. I understand what he's his point. All them other commentators and sports analysts don't understand the move, but I understand. But I got